absolutely amazing. More importantly, twice as long, make some noise if you know, a fan of Alexandria. <laughs> Emma's are you good to go? Ready. Let's get it. Yo, coming up next to the stage, you already heard me give him an introduction, but we're gonna do it one more time. Uh, I met him through my guy Shobo X. He's been super genuine and supportive of everyone. My first time getting to hear him on the microphone. Make some noise for the one and only Amaziah the Great. Thank you very much. JRM's maximum respect. Appreciate you. Thomasina, all the poets here tonight, all the patrons, maximum respect. I'm from Spanish Town, Jamaica, but I now reside in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. So I have a book out on Amazon, it's called Don't Cry. And I got a few poems I'm gonna read from that. Rocks for your maximum respect. This one is called Caught on Camera. The conversation grew heated after she found out he had cheated. Tears gushing down her face, she said, Craig, I'm feeling so defeated. Three years now I've been faithful, now I'm becoming so hateful. I hate liars and pretenders, fake and the ungrateful. Roxy, I thought my words would help her, but she was fuming in rage and temper. She says, Kirkland, this is it. I'm done with this. I am going to murder the helper. Holanda, what's wrong with it? Talk to me straight. Mind you get yourself in trouble with the law. I see wrath in your face. Yeah, me shade. She suddenly pretended to start laugh like she glad. Then seconds after, she start talk like she mad. She said, me I go murder Bumba Clark. Make sure I pass if she bad. I was like, honey, calm down and breathe easily. I've never seen you this piss before. You're smart with a strong heart. You never talk like this before. She said, Craig, I had enough. It's rough. I would not compromise. I looked in Billy's eyes and watched him telling silly lies. He laid with the maid. I asked him. He denied. But he was caught in camera. I know him realized. JRM, that nasty helper, she and him having unprotected sex the other day while I was away. I kid you not. She said, this is the part that grieved me. While he was all up inside her, she was like, breed me, Billy, breed me. Promise you'll never leave me. And now the hot docks did the fake a smile when she see me. Her eyes expands larger as she uttered me, I go murder them. I advise her to seek psychotherapy, perhaps that helps. Because depression is that thing to make you feel like your inside melts. Yeah. The next one I'm going to drop is called the fight. In this mind of mine, I took time to find more time to be fine. As my thoughts incline and climb and I, Thomasina, I refuse to let either enjoy energy from I. Monsters are creeping, thinking I'm sleeping, I'm fully awake, four decades pleading, fighting while smiling, even while I'm weeping, the journey continues, even while I'm bleeding, you'll never make it, <laughs> I ignore their speaking, their fiction is signaling and misleading, persuasion invasions, beasts and zombies trying to control me but can't understand me, be silent, shh. I fight without violence, spoken words subdue you like a hostage tyrant. I am your children's children, is your assignment. Writing myself in the future with provoking highlights to capture your eyesight. I need you to understand me. It's pointless to try and ban me. I'm fueling the world with words like bright lights. I write what I like, but I'm not you like it's my choice. I'm greater than your thought, tell them precisely. Moon the young, the fight continues. There are many others just like me. I will say no to domestic abuse, no to domestic violence. No man nor woman should be held against his or her own free will. Why are you sending threats? Who are you going to kill? And I'm a fierce you plant a fist for by multiple kicks. I scream for help. I ball, yet you never resist. Like a slave, I was whipped. Bruised all over like tattoos to my skin. Still, I never fought back. If I did, I might have been killed. It's not like I was afraid of you. It's just that I never expect that. Guess what? I will never accept that. Even when you say sorry a million times, I can never forget that. How did it come to this? Yesterday, our relationship was like one of the best things on earth. You promised you loved me for better or for worse. I gave you my all just to make things work. You're just to pretend those are dark and crime with dirt. Tomorrow, have a gone with the wind. Makes no sense you search. Now to you listen my poem, I know what abuse and depression is. And that's why I'm reaching out to you. Yes, you, my suggestion is, if counseling can't fix situation, leave. No matter what the circumstance is, leave. 
you already experience what evil mixed with ignorance is leave there is no progression with aggression so my question is will you leave another one of my drop and start nothing wrong there's absolutely nothing wrong in you asking the wrong questions what makes it correct is whether you can provide it with the right answers Nothing wrong in you making mistakes. In this case, what makes it great is when you learn from the errors and elevate, penetrate, and meditate on the great things you desire to achieve in life. Separate yourself from people who want to see you thrive. Realize life is no better for roses on a smooth pathway. They are earnest to overcome their bitterness and harsh days. There are the moments of sadness and grief, and there are the moments of happiness make you feel like you want to laugh all day. During your first heartbreak, you probably yelled at yourself in the mirror, I can't take this no more. No joking, perhaps you'd be smoking or consuming alcoholic substances like you've never done before. It's like your entire world keep crumbling. Why do you crumbling? Why have you done this to me? Nothing wrong in crying, expressing your emotions. No need for fightings or commotions. We were educated poorly about love. Ignorance is like an addiction or mess you up like drugs. What makes it wrong is when you allow your negative thoughts to become your action, so think first and allow time to heal you. Nothing wrong in giving spaces or even letting go if it not work out for you be your best. Think about it, probably that to cause the stress. Nothing wrong in you seeking advice or counseling when you really need help. Someone really love you, don't continue to blame yourself. And after you overcome the dark phase, you'll be the stronger version of self and you will learn to love and appreciate your very own existence. Yes. In life, we encounter challenges, tackle something new. Nothing wrong in taking risks as entrepreneurs do. If no one believes in what you're passionate about, at least you believe in you. And that's where it all started for your dreams to become true. Nothing wrong if you fail at first, it's all a part of the game. I'm not saying you're the worst, as long as you don't give up, try harder again. Sure, you will prevail. With persistence, my friends, winning is a must. Bars over bars. I am Amazia the Great. In God, I put my trust. Tonight. <laughs> Ladies, you are remarkable. Rocks, you are strong. Ladies, you are one of God's greatest gifts. Follow him and you'll never go wrong. You are smart. You are noble. Pay keen ears to these words I told you. You see, the skies were overcast and then torrential rain for days. Throughout your darkest moments, you experience pain for days. Cold and bitter, angry and confused, but be cautious with your steps before you make the wrong moves. And if you're feeling a bit empty right now, somewhat unsatisfied, fret not, for God already sent an angel to be a travel guide. Ladies, you'll be okay, okay? Just know that God is real. After you overcome the sophisticated phase, you'll be the strongest you ever feel. Ladies, you are remarkable. You all are sweet. Thomasina, Trump, all hypocrites beneath your feet. Be patient and pray more. You'll be okay. Forget about them or not believe in you. You've got no time to play. You are a fighter, a survivor who resists the quit. You're loved. You're a goddess. You deserve lifetime happiness. So I'm going to take you to a personal experience 2016 when I was in Connecticut I met this female friend of mine She flew all the way from Canada to come meet me And I honestly went to know her And it became poetry It's called the Holiday Inn Yes, I like that I spent a few days of my Holiday Inn The Holiday Inn While I was all the way in her. We took warm shower together. She gripped me tight, precisely, nicely. I whispered soft words in her ear, telling her how much I care, and she called me God. But no, I was more like Moses as I stretched forth my ride. Damn, she was sexy. Her body impressed me, beautiful like the ocean's wave. I was gliding like I was on a jet ski. Round two, see, we exited the bathroom to the bed. She opened and spread up to these words and said, Honey, I want you to kick me with your big timber and boots. That my whole time is dead. I was like, Baby, calm down. Can't I be gentle instead? Before I could have done shot, it was like Mortal Kombat. She said, Come here, I'm gonna finish you, Craig. <laughs> on top of me, bouncing blissfully like a happy kangaroo. My girl, are you with? That's why I honor you. You don't tweet on her IG, but let me tell her precisely, you know how to tick tock. That's why I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 10 minutes yet? Okay, okay, okay. Next one, I'm going to drop it, it's called the camera lens, and I'm talking nothing else other than pictures and cameras. 
Her mouth opened wide. Oh my gosh, she cries. A penis dancing in her eyes as I revealed my extension camera lens. She yelled, what a surprise. What a surprise, I interjected. It's not a surprise. I requested my photo service, that's why I arrived. Her enchanting beauty wasn't something I could avoid, and in my mind, you already picture me snapping her from multiple sides. I aimed my camera at her. Let's focus closely. Sir, please make sure your images aren't blurry, was what she told me boldly, and then she strikes a pose, followed by all kinds of positions. I quickly changed my camera lens to a wide angle. She was satisfied with that decision. Stunning, sassy, sexy, seductively hot. Honestly, she astonished me, somewhat hard for me to abruptly stop. I kept clicking repeatedly, thinking about me giving her extra snaps. Roxy, guess what? She paid me extra, giving me my props. As a professional photographer, I enjoy giving her some great shots. JRM, what fascinates me greatly was when she requests that any time I can always come back. <laughs> If I did the camera lens, I have to do the artwork. Now, I dipped my firm paintbrush in her acrylic to get the tip wet. Yeah. Talking nothing else other than arts and paints. Come on, people. <laughs> the artwork. I dipped my firm paintbrush in her acrylic to get the tip wet. Slowly start to brush stroke her canvas to paint the picture perfect. She stared in my eyes as she smiled, giving me that firm grip. I gazed back at her, penetrating her so deeply. I knew she liked it. Come on, of course, you know I'm talking about artwork. Her heart was crammed with elation. My art worth is priceless. She enjoys the vibration. I sunk my paintbrush further in her acrylic again, stroking the canvas a bit harder. She commanded, artist Craig Kirkland, please go a bit faster. As a true artist, I grant her wish. She admit my art is breathtaking. I confirm quick, honey, we both did the paintings. We were wet and sticky with paints all over the place. The remarkable thing about our art, this was a masterpiece that will never be erased. <laughs> so I'm going to drop one more before I go. It's called Legends Leaving Us. But before I do that, i got to say maximum respect to JRM. This is the second time you reach out to me. I was busy the first time and I couldn't get to make it and I really do appreciate the great works that you are doing yes. all over the place. Yes. So maximum respect yes. there. Yes. I'm gonna say maximum respect to Barnes and Barnes and the whole team. Maximum respect to the persons who you know responsible for this uh, place here who allow us to do this here. Maximum respect to you all. Legends leaving us. Some of these people you might know, some you might not know. I wrote this when I was back in Jamaica. And I see these people legendary. So maximum respect again to the fans all over who keep you know, promoting. I was recently nominated International Reggae World Music Award Best Poet in Florida. Yeah. And I say maximum respect to all the supporters and all the poets all over the globe. Precisely. Great ways to get while the sunshine will make it, Jeremy. You know, we never stop. No. Maximum respect to also Paul Tucket Poetry. Paul Tucket Poetry continues every week. Follow on Instagram or Facebook and you can visit... You know, at any time. Maximum respect to Lori Kirkland. Last September when I looked, it was a passing of regular legend Toots. Shortly after that, that you I pass, R.I.P. and our icon embedded in our hearts. <laughs> Yesterday after I got the news, Rega Hike and Bonuela died today. I'm not in a happy mood. Miss Luba Andy inspired many. Michael Sharp in general, loved by many. I left Jamaica, come overseas, Kobe and DMX gone. The legends are leaving us where we are gone. But Marley gone in silk and Dennis Brown. Honestly, I still wish you around. Because some are treated busy like a circus, too much clowns. Globally, loved ones are grieving, feeling hurt. Even while I'm speaking, some weeping. Legends are leaving earth. Powerful black men were put to death. Call it whatever you want. This is a total mess. If it's not sickness, it's murder. Go on, feel free to check. I'm not cold. I speak bold until my last breath. Shabbat Boozman gone too soon. I'm still saying Wakanda forever. My people, the wise, realize we are stronger together. Babylon, the one with a rise. Them tell lies and act like them clever. Some say black lives matter. <laughs> Let's see if it ever get better. But how can it be better with the divided and ignorant, destruction, confusion, no progression, or ignorance? 
And you're too busy on TikTok watching your leader comedy jokes. I see you twerking on IG and not paying attention to the posts I wrote. We are powerful together. We need the support. Seek knowledge. Increase the vocabulary for life is no drugs. Be careful of the foods you consume, poisonous stuff in what they promote. Who created all these disease and viruses and claim there's no antidote? The great legends are gone. I'm feeling provoked. It's no joke. My coat will make people stay woke. Are legends really leaving us or are they being killed? I'm somewhat bewildered. It's just a question I'm asking still. As my mind navigates to invade my thoughts, why? Evil men reign longer and good one die early. This concerns me and I won't fly. Marcus Garvey, Jamaica's first national hero, one of the world's greatest men, uniting black people all over for Africa was his greatest plans. A new story revealed he met his demise after suffering a stroke. I think they took him out purposely, and this is no jokes. It's obvious they want to get rid of a powerful black man. I will not sit and be silent. My spoken words explode like bombs. I wish someone would confess about the death of Dr. Sabi. The man who cured many diseases, including AIDS, and them things ain't crazy. On February 21st, 1965, Malcolm X assassinated. April 4th, 68, in the States, Martin Luther King Jr. assassinated. Tupac, Biggie, Nipsey, murder. They think that's coincidence. Once you have power with the people, then the lead to it, that's evident. Legends are leaving us, only God know why. Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and Prince married them till the day I die. Aliyah, so young when she lost her life in the plane crash, the whole world cried. Gandhi, a great man, assassinated. Why? I could not complete my list of legends. I'm not mentioning King Selassie. Yeah, rest in peace, all you great legends. Work well done. Our ancestors fought long for us to get freedom. Educate yourselves. I will not sit and be silent. Men of mute, I'm not dumb. Our journey continues perpetually like the rise of the sun. Maximum respect bars or bars. Look out and check my book out. Don't Cry by Craig A. Kirkland, available on Amazon. I got a few copies if you want. It's all just 10 bucks for one. Uh, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, precisely great. And if you don't remember nothing at all, you remember Jerry. Just link him up and you'll get to me. So, big respect. I will be having my Earth Day celebration at Lit Arts RI on May 29th. It's going to be some poets and it's going to be open mic, so please feel free to pass through if you're not busy. So that's May 29th. Oh, yeah. the, the, the event name is In the Beginning, Words Were Spoken. Tell them precisely. This is our respect. Yeah. Check, check, check. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Amazon the Great. Mind blowing. But more importantly, twice as well, make some noise if you're now a fan of Amazon, Amazon and the Green. Listen, y'all, we got about four more poets left. We're going to